Amazing. That's just crazy. Wow. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, many things happened. Uh, many great things happened. Um, the first pictures of the James Webb Space Telescope um, has been uh, published um, yeah, several weeks ago now. And yeah, several weeks ago I also wanted to publish this uh, video. Um, yeah, but I had some issues with the target processing. The last target I imaged uh, from my old location uh, was M106. Uh, it's a beautiful galaxy. And yeah, but as I mentioned, I really had some issues um, during post processing. So, first I started doing post processing um, of the raw data. And I was never really happy with it. Um, and I don't know, three or four weeks uh, later, I tried again. And um, I think uh, then this really worked with the post-processing. First, I want to show you the location and the night sky of M106 and Stellarium. As you can see, there's also a really nice uh, neighbor galaxy and of course you have this uh, beautiful um, M106 uh, galaxy with a quite defined uh, structure in the core and um, to the outer regions or to the disk um, it really becomes like a um, haze or it's really hazy. Um, this was also uh, the yeah, the problem I had during post-processing. Um, also, yeah, considering I'm using a planetary camera with um, two megapixels, and I think I reached the limit of the camera because with the haze or the hazy structure, the disk, I really had problems um, during post-processing. For me, it was very difficult. Um, yeah, to really separate or reduce the noise and but not um, to reduce the, the disk, let's say. So this was really tricky and took me some time to really post process this. Now I want to show you shortly the image acquisition for this target. So I did several imaging sessions uh, during uh, several nights and uh, yeah, in the beginning the guiding was not, yeah, was not so good, let's say, um, but in the later sessions um, the guiding was much better and I also reached my personal record of 0 0.48 uh, arc seconds, at least for a short time. But the um, principle and principle, the guiding over a longer period of, um, was also really improving and uh, yeah, quite quite nice, I would say. And this target has also been very uh, special, I'd say, because I think I, I never uh, saw so many uh, satellites uh, going through my target. Um, I cannot show you every single uh, image with uh, the trails, uh, satellite trails or so on and so on. Uh, but here are some and uh, yeah, it was really crazy and you can really see uh, there are pairs of satellites, let's say. They are really going absolutely parallel, parallel to each other. So 
This was really crazy how much satellites I saw on my uh, raw images. I used 300 seconds or 5 minutes exposure times per sub and this worked quite well. Uh, first I thought, uh, yeah, maybe it's nice to have um, additional images of the core with shorter expo exposure times. I also did some of them, but uh, in the end I didn't use it and so I stick to the five minutes uh, exposure times per sub for yeah for the process for the processing and so on. Now I want to show you the results of my uh, first try doing post processing and the second one. So the first try you can see here on the left hand side, and the uh, second try for post processing you can see here on the right hand side. So um, first I I got this. Um, yeah, this was uh, only stacked and yeah, I think really not much more, I think. And yeah, so you can really see uh, the disk here, the hazy disk and really some yeah, structures in the core region. and. We also have this nice um, companion, but as you also can see, uh, crazy noise. Yeah, high temperatures, planetary camera, no cooling, uh, no active cooling, and yeah, um, yeah, and this makes it very um, difficult for me, or made it difficult for me to really uh, distinguish or have a separation. Um, yeah, between this uh, hazy disk structure and the noise here. So every time I used uh, denoising uh, in Pixinsight, I, I did all the processing, uh, post processing in Pixinsight. I, um, yeah, I, I, this also led, this always led to um, yeah strange. Um, yeah, images for the dusk, uh, for the disk area. This was not very satisfying. So yeah, actually I started with this one, and then um, I did the denoise, and yeah, I really tried uh, several things. I tried TGV denoise. I tried uh, noise exterminator, and yeah, and. Another function picks inside. I, I don't remember how it's called, but I tried uh, several things. And yeah, after denoising, yeah, this looks better. But as you can see, the disk is really not looking very nice. And yeah, so this was my main issue. I was never happy uh, with this. And yeah, what I did only for testing uh, was to really increase uh, the details in the core structure, and this worked very well, I think. Um, but again, the uh, this looks yeah even worse uh, compared to the other picture. Yeah, so I was not, not very happy and I tried several uh, days after imaging, but I was never happy. And then I yeah, watched some more YouTube videos, YouTube tutorials, uh, um, doing post-processing in PixInsight and so on. And I thought, sometimes you need some time, so just have a break. And I had a break several weeks <laughs> and I was really frustrated about it. And yeah, and then I tried again and yeah, so then I did the um, separation between my galaxy and the stars using Starnet version 2. Um, I made a video about this, how to install here or here, I don't remember uh, which side and yeah. And for me this looks uh, much better. Um, yeah, really, um, yeah, having a planetary camera, right, without any um, active cooling and 2 megapixels resolution. So I think a 
in the end I was really happy about this result and yeah I have a nice separation between the stars and yeah I did just a little uh, star reduction and doing uh, stuff with the background denoising and so on and yeah also try to increase the um, the saturation a little bit for the uh, stars and yeah and I had this uh, quite nice uh, galaxy with its companion so when M106 with its companion and yeah all right so as you just saw I really struggled doing the post processing for M106 um, before I want to show you the final image I want to show you this a uh, little package uh, from CWO which was just delivered and if you want to know uh, what's inside this package uh, please subscribe to my channel or watch my next video so thank you for watching and see you next time clear skies